In this modern age, we are busy doing only four types of activities and they are eating, sleeping, mating and defending. If we make a small research, we find out that even animals, aquatics, insects and in fact all the living creatures are doing these four activities in life. So the question may arise, what is the difference between a human and other living creatures? if we are doing the same four types of activities that animals also do. Putting the same question in more intellectual way, we can ask what makes a human superior than other species of living beings. The Mahabharata clearly illustrates the difference between animals and human beings. The activities of eating, sleeping, mating and defending are common in animals and human beings. The human beings are considered superior only when they inquire about the absolute truth. Otherwise, they are considered just like animals. Thus, what distinguishes a human being from an animal is his performance of dharma or duty towards the supreme personality of Godhead. The dharma of every human being is to understand who he is, who God is, his relationship between him and God and to engage in rendering service to God. A human being has higher intelligence, the power to discriminate, ability to find the destination of life, and he can inquire about the cause of sufferings. It is stated in Srimad Bhagavatam 11.9.29. After many many births and deaths, one achieves the real human form of life, which although temporary, affords one the opportunity to attain the highest perfection. Thus a sober human being should quickly endeavor for the ultimate perfection of life. As long as his body, which is always subject to death, has not fallen down and died. After all, sense gratification is available even in the most abnormal species of life. Whereas Krishna consciousness is possible only for a human being. A human being has higher intelligence, the power of discrimination and he can inquire about the cause of sufferings and the destination of life.